hyped is we're really hyped now. We're really hyped. We're saying the haze. We're cheering ourselves on. I like that. Guys, my name is Elizabeth with an S. Why, Kurt? I'm your host this evening. Give it up for me. Are you guys having so much fun? Are you having so much fun? You guys look like so much fun. And I just want to party with you after. That was having fun. Well, we got a legend up in here, all right? You may have seen him on Aspire TV, True TV, or The Apollo, but tonight he is right here in Los Angeles at the LA Comedy Cube. Give it up for Andre Bailey. What up, what up, what up? How y'all doing? Clap it up for yourselves. Y'all look good. Hey, man, I am happy to be here. Man, I don't know about y'all, but I'm newly divorced. So every day I wake up, it's a great day. Hey, man, I just, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm tired of telling people I'm newly divorced because it's been five years I've been waking up dancing. <laughs> But I was married for a long time, so I still wake up nervous. I don't know if you've ever been <laughs> married a long time. You still wake up just to make sure they ain't there. <laughs> Look at God. <laughs> when I don't see it, that's what remind me to pray. I'll be like, Father, you're so good to me. <laughs> Do it for everybody, Father. <laughs> Anybody trying to leave, amen. <laughs> Man, left my wife and moved to L.A. Seen how expensive it is. Oh my God, I almost called her back. I am sorry. I had no idea it was this expensive. This is a two income city down here. You know, I still need you about a couple more years. <laughs> Come on down. <laughs> oh my God, it's expensive down here. Man, I was paying for something and I thought it was high. The nigga said, the brother told me, he said, man, when you look at your receipt, add the weather in. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> no, I see that. Okay, if I had bought this in Colorado where it was 30 degrees, it'd probably be $13. But here in LA with beautiful weather, it's $84. That's what we're doing. That's what. <laughs> it's expensive, man. You got to get used to it too. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Sacramento, man. You can get a nice place. Eight, nine hundred dollars. Nine hundred dollars. I had a little balcony, nigga. I don't know if you ever had a balcony, nigga. <laughs> you can walk out on a balcony and thank God for Father, thank you. For... <laughs> and I'm short, so I don't even gotta get all the way dressed sometimes. I mean, Father, you so good to me. <laughs> I tried to move down to LA with that same nine hundred dollars. Oh my god. They were disrespectful, boy. They, yeah, they, I tried to put it in apartments.com. Let me look at it. No matches. I, look. I thought I had the decimal in the wrong place. I was like, I know I didn't put $90 on here. Trying to find a Let me put $900. No matches, nigga. I said, nigga, can they see me? Either? I look at the homeless people differently now. I'm like, you could have $900 to be homeless in LA, nigga. Don't ask me for $5. You got $900 on you, nigga. Borrow me $5. Yeah. I don't know if you ever walked by the homeless in Cabin. They kicking it over there, nigga. It's, it's a party. I heard music playing. I was like, what in the world? It was a silhouette of a girl dancing. I said, hold on, nigga. Wait a minute. When I heard the popcorn popper popping, I just knocked on the nigga tent. I'm sorry, but how much is the tent, nigga? I, <laughs> I almost knocked the nigga tent over. I hit so hard. Nigga, I'm sorry, but zip your door open and talk to me. <laughs> you want to be respectful. Zip, you don't want to talk to people through the nylon. Just zip your door open. <laughs> that nigga told me how much some tents cost. I've been in Walmart looking for two-story tents, nigga. <laughs> I said, I get a tent, I'm walking upstairs in my tent, goddammit. I want to be able to yell down like my mama used to. Y'all zip my goddamn door shut. I can hear people walking around my tent. Zip my goddamn door shut. <laughs> oh, it's expensive down here. Oh, my God, man. I'm paying $1,100 for a studio, nigga. I 
don't know if you ever lived in a studio, but nigga, this is a jail cell, my nigga. I'm be honest with you, I ain't never been to jail, but I figure if you wake up and see everything you own, this is a cell, nigga. Every day I wake up, baby, like, goddamn, nigga, the iron. I got one of them irons that blink and shit. This motherfucker be blinking and shit. I'm gonna move that motherfucker. Get on my goddamn nerves seeing that motherfucker. <laughs> But it's my studio. I love it. Amen. It's mine. I fixed it up, made it look nice. Invited some people from Sacramento to come down, see my place. Disrespectful. Disrespectful. They want to come in my place, start walking around. I'm like, nigga, what you walking around for? This is it. <laughs> you making it look crowded in this motherfucker. Sit down, nigga. They walked around so much. I stood up. We was bumping each other. I said, you got to leave, nigga. The capacity say one and one half person, goddammit. It's me and a dog, goddammit. If I, I get company, we got to go outside, goddammit. Trying to get me kicked out of my place, goddammit. <laughs> oh, I love living down here, though, man. L.A. is the home of the scams, nigga. Oh, my, and I wasn't ready, nigga. Man, that EDD scam came, they was like, man, the EDD is coming. They knew it was coming. I was like, it's coming. They're like, nigga, the EDD is coming. They're like, make sure you fill out your paperwork. They ain't tell me I was supposed to give it to another nigga. And I filled the paperwork out myself, you know. Our paperwork came back and said, you get $92. I said, $92? I know a nigga in jail getting $12,000. How I'm getting $92? I was mad he was getting 12,000. I said, that's hella top ramen, nigga. I'm, how long you got, nigga? 12,000, nigga. Getting 92 dollars. Man, it was disrespectful. ATM line long just to go get my money. I had to wait in line. Finally get my turn. I'm the only one money went. I had to act like it was still going up. <laughs> I ain't gonna do with money still coming out, nigga. Oh. A little nosy brother in the back. You been done? I said, God damn it. <laughs> Had to pull my money out. I didn't even know Bank of America was giving ones. I pulled out $92. I said, God damn it. I didn't even tithe with $92. I don't even know how to give with this. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. I was like, I got, <laughs> this is an expensive town. I got to find somebody. But it's tough because everybody got a mask on, you know. You got to tell people you find from the eyes up, you know. That's a new move. Eyes from the eyes. It's cold, man, because you know what I'm saying? This is a this is a time right now where people missing a tooth in the front of their mouth. Oh, they love it. They going to sleep with the mask on, nigga. They, they want their dreams to be better, nigga. I know a girl missing a tooth in the front of her mouth. Oh, she is loving it right now. Be walking up to everybody. How you doing? You be like, what in the world? You ain't never did that. <laughs> she had the nerve one day. Had to, you know, they putting stuff on the mask now. She had all the teeth on. I said, you wrong. <laughs> no, 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 you wrong. You ought to, you ought to at least block out number two. Just block it out. Let everybody know I'm missing number two. God damn it. No. Don't walk up to me. That's not right, you know what I mean? <laughs> she fooled me the first time I met her too because she tried to talk with her lip down. I don't know if you ever talked to somebody. I was like, hey, how you doing? She like, uh-huh. Her <laughs> lip was down. I was like, how you doing? She like, uh-huh. I was like, you don't look fine. <laughs> hey, I mean, I don't look all right. <laughs> The messed up thing is you start talking with somebody with their lip down, you start talking with your lip down. Like, after a while, we was both over there. I mean, you know. I, I, I. Somebody walked by, I think we both smoke crack. I'm like, God damn it. Now I talk with my teeth out. I be like, how you doing? How you, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Don't make no sense, man. I'm telling you, man, I decided I'm going older, man. Not looking for nobody my age, they got the same problems I got. I need to borrow five dollars, she need to borrow ten. I'm like, God damn it. 
Now I got to call my mama to cash out was $15. I said, this is some bullshit. And you know my mama gonna want that money back, you know. So I'm going older, man. Find me an older woman, man. Somebody where, you know, Claude done died. Harold was a good man, but he gone, amen. Cleophas was a good brother, but he gone, amen. <laughs> I just want to be the new Harold in somebody's life. <laughs> I ain't know where you go find older women at, though, man. I had to go ask one of my older partners. I was like, man, where you go find them older women at? The nigga hit me with something I never heard in my life, brother. You ever been to Bingo? Bingo, brother? Nigga, this nigga told me to go to Bingo. I'd never been appreciated more in my life, nigga. Man, I walked in the bingo every step. It was catcalling, nigga. Mm. 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 I said, wait a minute, nigga. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I heard an old lady in the back go, oh, I said, wait a minute, God damn it. They looking at me, God damn it. <laughs> I start posing this shit. I was like, they looking at me, goddammit. They looking at me, man. I mean, <laughs> old lady got bold, nigga. She was like, little boy. I said, little boy. <laughs> hey, I'm 43 years old. I started looking for a little boy. I said, they little boys in here, nigga. <laughs> she had no teeth, nigga. She, little boy, come here. <laughs> nigga, her titties was up and she had a name bad. said, Irma. Nigga, I said, let me go and see what she talking about. I start walking like a little boy. I said, God. <laughs> Got over there, I was like, yes, ma'am. Wanted to be respectful. You know. Nigga, she hit me with something I ain't never heard before, nigga. Older lady looked me in my face and said, little boy, you want to earn for it all? <laughs> nigga, I ain't, I ain't never heard earn unless you work, amen? <laughs> She said forty dollars. I was like, nigga, that's two twenties, nigga. Uh, what can I do, ma'am? <laughs> she was like, I want you to play with my titties. I said, God damn, nigga. You know how many titties I done played with for free? <laughs> nigga, I'm about to get twenty dollars a titty, my nigga. Oh, I was gonna do a good job, nigga. I was gonna do a good job, nigga. I said, can I roll with you, nigga? She pulled out a walker, nigga. We were literally rolling out that mother. I said, God damn. It was cold, though, because she had a little access van, nigga. I don't know if you ever been on the access van, nigga. Nigga, she had a little access van out there. Nigga, they had to little pull the little... <laughs> nigga, she pulled a little thing on there. Nigga, I acted like I was fucked up. Nigga, I got on there. <laughs> I <laughs> I ain't wanna act like I needed to stay on. I was like, let me get on with her, nigga. Let me get on. It's not loud. <laughs> that motherfucker started lifting us up, nigga. Uh, nigga. I don't know if you ever been lifted up, nigga. I felt like the president, nigga. I was like, oh, shit, nigga. <laughs> nigga, we got to the top. I was like, oh, I forgot something, nigga. Uh, we got to the bottom. I was like, oh, I got it. Uh, <laughs> I was fucking with that nigga for about three minutes. He get on. I said, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> man, I was, this is a blessing. Love older women, man. She didn't like my habit, though, you know. She, I smoke a little weed, hey, man. <laughs> you know, she had a problem, too. I was like, you smoke them trees? She know the new words. You smoke them trees? I said, you mean reform? <laughs> like, yeah, you smoke of them trees. But smoke cigarettes. I said, like, God damn, bitch, you about to kill us in here. <laughs> we in the access van. She, you smoke them trees? I'm like, bitch, I don't think you can do this. I, don't, I think this is illegal. <laughs> the man got a pump over there. He, <laughs> Just disrespectful, you know. I, and I don't got a problem with people that smoke cigarettes. I don't. It's just that cigarette smoke is aggressive, nigga. You, you ever see somebody smoking on the other side of the street? You be like, you know what? Let me go on on this side. 
It's like the smoke seal. You'd be like, oh no, I'm gonna get that now. I'm gonna get that now. <laughs> you be all at the light, pushing the button. <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> walk through some cigarette smoke, man. You could just leave church. You look at God. You walk through some cigarette smoke, be like, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry, God, but the devil is a liar. He lying in his breath stank, Father. Where he at? <laughs> that ain't the same with weed smoke. You walk through some weed smoke, be like, look at God. And you're looking around because you got $10. You're like, who got it? Kid? I was outside this new house one day when I first moved to LA, man. I'm outside this new house smoking weed. <sighs> Long weed, man. He came out mad. Hey, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm sorry, this weed. He said, I know. Come on in the house. <laughs> Come on in the house. <laughs> I walked in the nigga house. He had a baby in there. I'm like, nigga, what about your baby? He said, man, the baby pointed you out. <laughs> the nigga was like, the baby was all in the window. Daddy, look at this nigga wasting weed. And he told me, he said, fire up, that's good for the baby. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking about it, that would never happen with cigarette smoke, right? Man, you could be in a crack house. Everybody in there doing something they ain't supposed to. <laughs> Nigga just hit the cocaine. <laughs> His eyes big, keep touching on himself, looking at everybody. Man about to hit the heroin. They see you in the back about to light your cigarette. Uh, I know you ain't about to light that cigarette up in here. Man, you ain't heard a secondhand smoke, man. You can kill everybody up in here, man. What's wrong with you? You don't see my baby lick? <laughs> He's smoking weed. That's good for the baby, Nick. But take that outside. You're always trying to kill everybody. Get on my nerve. Poke me right here, nigga. Poke me right here. Oh, my goodness, man. I'm having a great time with y'all, man. Good Lord. Good time, y'all. It's crazy how they do entertainment, too. You know, you got to have a bunch of people following you for them to think you somebody. What I'm saying is I need y'all to follow me. Follow me. I'm probably famous, but my mama messed my name up, so don't nobody know where to find me. That's what, they're like, I keep putting Andre, but that, you ain't coming up. That's pronounced Andre. I don't know if y'all been looking like, who in the world is that in Derry? I don't know. They brought up Andre. Who is this? I tell people all the time, the epidural is a drug, nigga. That's a... It was a drug. My mama was, <laughs> my mama was in there like, you know what? Give me another vow. I need another vow. I need a vow. <laughs> but definitely follow me, man. I'm Andre B. Funny online, man. I go by Andre B. Funny. There's no E after the B. And I understand why some people don't got online. You know, some people are like, I would follow you, but I ain't got no online. And I understand it's because you're hiding from somebody. Man, online to help you find people you ain't even looking for. Amen. Man, I'm gonna tell you, my mama had no idea where my daddy was. Child support couldn't find him. I'm on Facebook, they wouldn't find my daddy, y'all. Sent me an alert and everything. It was like, you know your daddy on. I was like, my daddy on? <laughs> They sent me a poker quest, like, you should poke your dad. I was like, I should poke my daddy. I ain't never poked him online. I ain't never poked him in real life. I'm gonna poke him online. Then I got mad I never poked him and hit the button hard. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> oh, was mad, but y'all don't realize, he didn't want to poke back. I said, this nigga still trying to deny me, nigga? The snows ain't everybody's, you know. But now I gotta follow him, you know. I, I finally found him. I said, I'm gonna follow this brother, nigga. Finally got you, nigga. The cold thing about following somebody is you end up finding out stuff you don't wanna find out. I found out he a Cowboys fan. I said, oh, damn. 
Oh, I hate the Cowboys. I think all male Cowboy fans are deadbeat dads, is all I'm saying. So, they all on Facebook. You put them on Facebook, they have all kind of baby requests. Daddy. <laughs> My daddy loved the Cowboys. He was online a couple years ago when they was good. He was online. I love the Cowboys. I love the Cowboys. I was getting mad, you know, because you ever heard somebody saying they love something more than you? <laughs> Y'all getting an attitude. This nigga, I love the Cowboys. I love the Cowboys. I had to jump on the comment. I said, you love the Cowboys, but what about your boys? <laughs> what about the ones you make, nigga? Y'all wouldn't believe this brother liked the comment, nigga. <laughs> We've been liking each other pictures the last two years now. <laughs> got an online relationship with my daddy. I said, this is a blessing. <laughs> I found out I got a little brother now. I said, oh, snap, let me like that. I got a little brother, hey, man. Then I thought about it. I was like, oh, you taking care of niggas now? Oh, you disrespectful. Unlike that, nigga. I don't appreciate <laughs> How you gonna be taking care of niggas now? They got 40 for you. <laughs> hey man, y'all been a great crowd, man. Shout out to the Comedy Cube. I'm Andre Bailey, man. See y'all. This has been a Funny Media Group production.